Let's now speak to Mpo Palatze. She's the DA's mayoral candidate in Johannesburg and a colleague of Jolody Matongo. Um, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Mpo. Now, you worked very closely with the late mayor. Please tell us how he was as a colleague and um, to, how, how was he to work with as well, and how will you remember him? I, I remember him as a brother and a friend, and I think a lot of my colleagues will agree with me. Um, this was a man who truly understood democracy and what it means to be able to work across different party affiliations. He understood the need for cooperation and collaboration. He was a friend. He had a great sense of humor. He could make us laugh in council. He could make the most difficult times um, bearable because of his sense of humor. He was accessible to everybody. He listened in committees. All that my colleagues have to say about him is that he was um, he was a listener in committees and that he acknowledged when other parties were right, even when his own party was incorrect, that he took correction and that he was a builder, a team builder. You know, he was never interested in fighting. Um, Jolly D was was really a friend to to all of us. Um, I can only imagine what the NC is going through, but I know that all my colleagues in the Democratic Alliance in Johannesburg are crying as well. We've lost a true nation builder. Um, I would like to ask you. I mean, I, I know you were rivals, you know, ANC versus DA, um, but I must ask you. Yesterday, you were in Soweto with um, the late mayor. Um, did you get to speak to him? So yesterday we were not together. He was with the president of the country as well as the premier of Gauteng. I was in Soweto for some part of the day on my own campaign trail. My last conversation with him was a few days ago and I had been in Soweto and I think he'd been in Rockville on the day and I called him to say, hey, you know, I'm picking up a lot of challenges on the ground. Residents need to be assisted. They cannot wait until elections. Would it be okay if I send them through directly to your office and that you coordinate responses from your office? And he said, the same thing is happening to me. I was in Rockville today and people haven't had electricity for about a year. Um, please do send through those requests. And yes, we will definitely process them from my office. That was our last conversation a few days ago. Um, he understood that as much as we are on the campaign trail and we're all trying to win votes for our respective parties, we're still delivering services. He was still the executive mayor and he was willing to serve all of us in this process now you know him very very well and you must know what his vision was for this city for Johannesburg and even for the country do you know what what he envisioned for us as a nation you know, um, he had the shortest stint as as a mayor, um, literally just a few weeks leading up to elections. Um, I wasn't sure if he was even planning to stand. What I do know is that he was more for the idea of a female candidate um, being picked to stand for the African National Congress in the upcoming elections. So he understood the need to step back and, and promote the cause of women. Um, that's what I understood to be his position. And um, do you know his family? Do you know how they are coping with, with this um, sad timing of his death? Unfortunately, I've never met his family. No, I don't know how they're doing, but I can imagine the type of person he was um, over and above the fact that he was family. I can imagine how devastated they must be. Um, I know his some of his friends have tried to reach out. Unfortunately, I've not had any responses. I think we're all still in great shock. I think everyone is really still in mourning. Thank you so much, Paul, and thank you for joining us this morning. Still to come 